Hey, if you've ever held yourself back from getting into martial arts or anything athletic because you thought that maybe you're a slow learner or maybe that you're just not that talented and you don't have what it takes, uh, I want to share with you this video because uh, I felt that way for many years of my own life and it held me back from getting into sports in high school and junior high and it wasn't until many years later that I've sort of started to peel back those beliefs. And I want to share with you how those beliefs got started and what the thing was that kind of pulled those off because uh, I have a lot of people come into the gym now who are in their 30s and 40s and maybe did not get into sports and martial arts for the same reason and they start training with me and in reality they're actually a lot better than they give themselves credit for and I think that that's the case with a lot of us. You see when I was a kid I was into karate and uh, I remember a, a friend of mine invited me to come box at his boxing gym and I thought man I am going to tear it up because I'm into karate, we deal with punches and kicks, and it's meant for real life and death situations. It's not about sport. The legends in karate freaking kill bulls with a single punch in the dome. And so I was like, I'm going to clean up shop. And I went there, and I remember I was sparring the guy, and the guy comes in with a jab cross, and I blocked that jab beautifully, most beautiful karate block you've ever seen. And as I'm getting ready for my awesome reverse punch, boom, I get popped with this big cross in the face. And that happened over and over and over again. And I left the gym feeling so deflated and just like I train all the time and I know these guys don't obsess over martial arts as much as I do. I'm just that bad that they could pick it up in just a matter of months, maybe a couple years. And I've been training it my whole freaking life. And so I just felt like that, that was a huge uh, punch in the gut uh, on my own talent and, and ability to ever uh, be good at martial arts and my obsession with martial arts continued so I still kept training and I got into Jeet Kune Do and I got into all these other arts but I think what really turned it around was getting back into boxing and being uh, in competition with people who uh, were were very talented people and bigger guys I mean I'm a bigger guy so I, I was in a bigger weight class and the big shift came from when I started training boxing and my coach was basically teaching me very basic principles. It wasn't about blocking punches. It had very little to do with, with how, uh, how fast I was or anything that relied on natural attributes. Instead, he was just teaching me to keep my hands up high. I can't really keep this one up high. It should be in a sling right now, but uh, it's not. But anyway, um, got shoulder surgery. But anyway, so uh, keep my hands up high, keep my head always moving, and after every exchange, pivot, move offline. And those three things, I started doing those, and all of a sudden, I started blocking and dodging punches all the time. And I mean, I'll, I'll link to it or something where uh, I've got one Golden Gloves match on YouTube, and you can see it, and I dodge a lot of punches. Honestly, most of those punches I didn't even see coming. I was just following those rules. And in fact, when I would spar guys, sometimes to me, I won as long as I followed those rules. So I would be getting my head knocked around, makes the head movement easier when a, it's being knocked around like a pinball. But I'd be, I'd be getting beat by the other guy and I'd walk to a corner with a big smile like I won because I followed my rules. Anyway, uh, the point is this, the, what I realized was that growing up, the art of karate was not the right map for me. And, and honestly, I don't think uh, for any competitive fighter, for anybody sparring, I think there are better maps that have been created. And a lot of times we personal, we, we take it on like we're, the, we're at the fault of this and not the map we were given. And a lot of times it's also the instructor. If I could rewind five years ago and the people that I taught from when I started up to the last five years, if I could reteach them, I know I could get them so much better. But I worked with the skill level I had as an instructor at the time. But um, in nature, nothing exists alone. I found this and I thought it went really well with the topic. But anyway, that's the point too, is that sometimes it's the instructor as well. You know, I know that I've gotten better and better as an instructor and I wish I could go back and teach some of the guys over again that I worked with because I know I could get them better faster. And uh, one of my favorite quotes is, uh, if the student didn't learn, then the teacher didn't teach. And sometimes, I think many times that's the case. So don't write yourself off. We all are like a different lock and it's up to, the, it's up to us to find, find the right key, find the instructor, find the map that fits the lock and then we'll be successful and I think everyone could be successful. Awesome.